Thank you guys for coming today. We're really excited. Um, first off, from our current season nine, we have uh, my sister and one of my really close friends, Valentina. <laughs> Valentina. Uh, Valentina doesn't actually know a lot about hair. She just knows how to tell me how to do hair, so <laughs> she'll be here. <laughs> um, next, we also have... Hi, uh, guys. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, <laughs> that. And uh, next, we have uh, from season five contestant, uh, Serena Chacha. How are you? Hi. She's just going to give you a little bit of body today. Uh, a little bit? A <laughs> little bit. She said it right. A L- little bit, a little all bit. all these people here. All right, and then last but certainly not least, we have from season three, a uh, contestant from season three, India Farah. Can you guys clap a little louder for her? Look at this hair. Yay! It's my natural hair, I swear. I just rolled out of bed. Uh, first off, I think we're gonna touch base on everyone's background. So if um, each of you want to maybe say a little bit of something, how you got into it, or you know what it is that draws you to the styling and design of your hair, um, let's get into it. India, we can start with you. So I started drag when I was 12. I was homeschooled, so it was really easy for me. And my brother is gay as well, and he was dating a drag queen, and he actually taught me things. And I decided to do hair, costumes, make my own hip pads, put lashes together, do the whole package, basically. So, and I started gluing wigs together, probably around like 15 or 16 started teasing them, and I was like, I can make a business out of this. I can actually make it work. So now I do hair costumes for a living. I live in Vegas now, been there five years. So if you ever come to Vegas, come see me. I'm at Piranha Nightclub. And Anyone ever go to Vegas? Wait, and if you guys haven't seen India, this bitch turns it the fuck out. Oh, like, thank you. It is, it is wild. Like, your, your jaw will drop. She'll literally, that. like, tumble and then collect the tip that you're going to offer her. Yeah. <laughs> Valentina came to Piranha a few weeks ago, and she saw me. Yes, this bitch tumbled like into the new year like no other bitch. She just literally came out. Wig, da, wig, da, 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 wig intact. Wig intact. Yeah, no, it can't move. It's got to stay. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Serena. Wow, I'm next. Do it. I knew you guys were both going to be doing enough drag for me not to do it. Thank you so much for giving me a day off. <laughs> wow. So now, Serena Chacha from RuPaul's Drag Race season, hot mess, five, kicked out, second, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with your life after I started? Drag was getting better. I mean, never as good as India. God damn it, for turning every single look, much less like you're a beauty, Valentina. Um, but wigs started being noted by people, and people were asking me, where were you making your wigs? What were you doing with your wigs? Where do you buy them? They'll never know where I buy them from. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't pay my bills. But we started selling them and selling them, and it's so busy now that it's even difficult for me to get in drag now because we're so busy with orders. Thank God, amen, knock on wood, making wigs for all you guys here. So we hope we can teach you guys some good tricks and some things you can take home. And I mean, I still want you to buy it from me, but why not release a few tricks, right? Take it away, Valentina. <laughs> Valentina. Hello, it's me, <laughs> Valentina. <laughs> so, you guys, I am here on a wig panel knowing absolutely nothing about hair. <laughs> but I am blessed to be really close friends with my friend here, Tony Medina. We've been friends for many years, and he's been styling my hair since... Since the first ever Dracon was the first wig he ever styled for me. His number one client right now is Dita Von Teese, you guys. Ow! How about that? But Valentina, of course, thinks she's the number one client. You know, she may say she knows nothing about hair and doesn't really know anything about wig styling. That, that may be true, but she does know about wig design. And I think a lot of it with her costumes in general... Everything, it's all from her from her mind and her creative, you know, concepts and everything. And she, she has a vision. And in order to execute it well, I think you do kind of have to know a little bit about it. And that is why she's here. Because everything, she, yes, I style it for her, but that's all from her. She designs. So I would say she's really great at wig design. Well, I just have to add on to that, that it's... Um when you're working with a client, it's much about the client's direction under the artist's execution. So the fact that you guys have that chemistry, it's amazing. I had no choice. I mean, yeah, of course, it's Valentina, but still, that's, that's the way, me as an artist, that's the way we want to feel about every single client, even if it's the $10 week client, which, <laughs> by the way, we'll get to it, but <laughs> continue. Yeah, um, and as far as, like, background and things, like, I just... I was just a fun little gay boy, and you know, I was into like 
Barbies and hair, and I had two younger sisters, and you'd put plop them on the bath uh, in the bathroom on the toilet, and would give them like wonderful Gwen Stefani hairdos because that's what I was really into. And the like, I think it was like twelve years old when I started styling hair, and Rocksteady was out, and Danilo was giving Gwen Stefani the big victory rolls and the fifties comb outs on the red carpet, and that was really my jam. So that's really where it starts. There may or may not be um, some wigs coming up with Miss Valentina that may be like four or five or six wigs combined together. So keep your eyes peeled. Oh, open. stop trying to copy India. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is just I didn't one. say ten. This is just one. Okay. Oh, yeah. shit. It's um, like one lace front and then talent. drawstring ponytails, which are really, really amazing to tease because it has little hairs at the base. You know working with drawstring Why ponytails. Why are you so humble? Yes, yes. absolutely. They're A the good, best. Like, because in one home, think about it. You're getting... Uh, Ponytail piece is something that's meant to look like a full scooped up hair into a fallout, right? Which is a ponytail. When you put seven, eight of those, you make eight times the volume right. of hair that a normal person carries. Yeah, so I agree. Um, so another thing that I wanted to, um, to touch base on too is um, like, what would you guys say is something that makes your style, the way you style your wigs, or anything in general, like unique? Is there like a special touch that you put into it? Is there like a, a little trick or? You know, something that you can share with us that, Man, you know, actually, makes it different that's, you know, to you. You know what's classic to me? And the the thing is, what, what okay, when you have no talent with hair, like me, and you, you, you don't want to get caught not having no talent with hair, and you want to look classic and good and cute, and you don't really, really want it to look like you don't know how to do hair, I'll get two super, super du duper long, like, middle parted straight, like, share hair wigs, stack them, middle parted, straight, little oil, and you can never go wrong with that. And it always looks good. Super classic. That's a super secret of mine, so don't go through my folders and look when I have straight hair because that means I didn't have any other hair to wear, okay? <laughs> no, no, that's when she hits me up like, you know. Like, Tony, like, I've been wearing my straight wig for two weeks now. No, no, this is, this is what it is. Um, mi amor, I have, uh, I have a gig tomorrow that I'm leaving at 8 a.m. Um, this is also like maybe around like 12 a.m., you know, at night. Oh, are you sleeping? No. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not. Oh, mi amor, I, I just a little favor, please. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, ugh, what? She's like, just a simple style, anything you can really do, and I'll, I'll send you a couple references. <laughs> Girl, girl, and it's like it's like India Farrow's hair. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could pack it for me, that would be great. <laughs> and put a net on it, please. Yes. <laughs>